Dave, is it easier just to say three points, job done after that one? Three points, four goals, job done. <laughs> is that enough? I hope the fans are happy with that. No. Um, good to send the fans back down the road. It wasn't great conditions today. I didn't expect six goals, if I'm honest. I didn't think it was going to be a great game of football. I actually think it was a decent game of football at times. I've seen a 0-0. I want to eat something along the lines of a 1-0 victory through a mistake, something along the lines. Um, never really been a happy hunting ground pair. I think most teams say that, if I'm honest. They're difficult to play against. We find ourselves three goals up in the first half was it was very eh, pardon me it was very good um, boys should take shoes credit from that it's patterns they play that we're working in training on a weekly basis um, half time spoke about it no no don't think you're free now up it's no no I want a clean sheet it's no no get that in your head and I thought I thought we dropped we thought we dropped the first 20 minutes First 20 minutes of the second half, I felt we dropped and we gave up too much territory in our, our half and we allowed easy possession, passive possession, it's not like us. Um, so when they scored, I was in the head, we were going to ch make the changes. I was trying to keep the players that were on the park because they'd found a solution within the game at 3-0. I don't like changing it too often when the boys on the park have actually found that solution. Um, and when they scored, I thought, hey, I, need, I need to get a wee bit more energy into the midfield. The park was extremely heavy today. We Steph was on a yellow. Shinny, who I thought was brilliant, and the two of them were brilliant. Um, I thought I had to get them off the park for different reasons today, but the two of them were really, really good for us. And I think Holt and Pittman going on gave us a wee bit more energy in the midfield. Got big eye on, who gave us a wee bit more solidity in the midfield areas, because I felt we struggled in the wide areas with St Johnson in the second half. For the first, definitely up to the two goals anyway. We could have defended them a lot better than what we did. Um, the changes helped, and then wee Penners goes and goes in a wee run, and managed to top in one. I thought it's a fantastic strike. Really, really happy for him. Really happy for him. He's a good kid. He's been blighted by injury in his time here, but he's now putting a wee run of consistency in terms of the numbers and the games that he's playing that he's getting in behind him. And fantastic strike. He scores two today. Again, I could go through the full team, but I thought, do you know what? I thought we Stephen Kelly, fantastic, great football, fantastic football in brain. But all the boys, all the boys collectively, everybody was great. Even the subs, the subs that never got on the day, they're in the changing room. They're singing with the players. It's just a great collective spirit. And I, I think I've got a wee special mention to Stephen Bradley. I thought, honestly, like, it's ever TV, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't go public, publicly and probably talk about this, but I'm, I'm dumbfounded how Hibs have let him go. I think he's an absolute cracking player. He's brilliant, honestly, he's been brilliant for us. He's a great kid and he's only still 20. I think he still turns 21 soon. I could go through the full squad today. Very, very difficult for the, very, very easy, sorry, for the players to sit even deeper at 3 to start defending their 18 yard box, so to speak, opposed to the defensive third. And they never, do you know what? They were aggressive, they went, they took, they took their medicine, went up the park and scored the fourth goal. And then I think, at that, I think it knocked the wind out of St Johnson's sails, to be honest. And it's only one winner at that point. Do you think, as well, when you look at particularly you know, losing a late equaliser at Hearts, a late equaliser at Rangers, the boys going and digging that out and at 3 2. <laughs> but being under pressure and going and digging out that win, not only just holding on for 3 2, but going up the park and getting the goal to really kill it off. I think that's testament to the boys for, yeah. for digging in and doing that. That's what I'm saying. Like The message at half time wasn't sitting in play safe. The message at half time was a wee bit of percentage football because of the park and because of the conditions, but also because we had the luxury of being three goals up. But I thought we gave away too much territory. I thought we sat too deep. Um, so it would have been easy at 3-2 for the boys to probably concede a wee bit more territory and drop even deeper and start defending their 18-yard box. They never, do you know what? They actually tried to play. They did get the ball down at times. And I felt <laughs> we went for the fourth goal and it would have been really, really easy to try and defend that third goal. Uh, the f yeah. Stop St Johnson getting their third goal. They never... And that's testament to the players and the staff at the club. So I think the players are going to take huge credit today. Absolutely huge credit. And the staff as well. The staff are probably the one constant that's been at this club over the last eight, nine years with myself. So we're in a fantastic place, Dave. In a fantastic place. And it's just about taking one game at a time. We're not going to win every game we play. We're not going to have the performance. But see, the day I thought it was a mixture of everything today in terms of 
goals that were defending at times was very good and obviously we had performance at spells in that first half I thought we blew them away. I know you're not one for looking at or talking about league tables but a win does put us into fourth place tonight. Is there now an acceptance that there is now a push on for a top six place if not I'm going, to, I'm going to be honest, Like one of the main objectives for us is a, a group and I don't want to sit publicly and talk about that because you start setting targets and you miss those targets that can quite quickly come and kick you in the guts. Collectively we've always said it, start to see every season we'll, we'll talk and I'll talk about it because I'm on our club TV channel, I wouldn't say that's in the press or on Sky Sports or BBC. Collectively we want to be in the top six every year. One of my biggest ambitions is trying to take Livingston Football Club to European football. Well, we're a good bit away from that at this point, but we're 21 games in, we're sitting fourth in the Premier League. We, we believe, we believe we can do it. Now, we might not do it, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, but we're going to give it our best and we'll give it everything. If we, do you know what? See, we don't make the top six, we don't make Europe, and nobody for the lack of trying, because every single person at this club, including the players, everybody, staff, every single person push every day to make the club a better place and try and, try and overachieve because that's what we're doing on a consistent basis since we returned to the Premier League. I think that's what the club's been doing. Perfect, well done, David. Cheers.